Hello, students. Miss you. Uh, this will be the last presentation of this chapter, um, Development and uh, Genes, uh, Part 2. We're going to talk particularly about pattern formation um, and morphogenesis. Pattern formation, remember, is how the body is structured, and morphogenesis is cell specialization um, within that body plan. So we're going to pray. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Pray for our students and their families that they can stay safe and happy. Pray that our students can complete their academic work while at the same time helping out their families, um, somehow connecting with their friends through this difficult time, and that we can return to normal as soon as possible. Amen. All right, so let's jump right in. Okay, so pattern development. There's a thing called uh, pattern embryogenesis uh, in the fruit flies, and what that means is once there's an embryo or once fertilization happens, there'll be a lot of nuclear divisions, but no cytokinesis. You'll get a whole bunch of, of um, nuclei in a cell. And even at this stage, we begin to see some pattern formation. There'll be different cytoplasmic factors in here. Um, and then eventually you'll see that you do get some cytoplasm and then it's already begun at this stage. You get morphogen gradients in play. Remember we talked about those gradients of those uh, cytoplasmic factors, um, more to this side, more to this side. More, and that those factors are going to make a play in what genes are going to be expressed. We need to talk about um, maternal effect genes. We did a little bit last time, the, the bicoid and nanos genes. Um, they help uh, put bicoid towards the, 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 the anterior side, nanos towards the posterior side. Um, but also, if you read down here, you can see we need to talk about gap genes. Gap genes begin the segmentation process, uh, and, and they begin to make new segments. You have paired ruled genes that play into this where you begin to pair segments up next to each other. And then you got segment polarity genes, which begin to establish the anterior posterior axis of each segment. So you got these maternal effect genes. And then within that, you have these sub, uh, segmentation genes, the gap genes, the paired rule genes, and the segment polarity genes. All these genes are doing are setting up your body plan. This is how pattern formation happens. It's putting certain cells over here, certain cells over here, and we're getting ready to make the different parts of the body. This slide shows gap mutations. Um, this is normal. And these things are all mutated in some way. The, 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 it's not even. It's not regular. It's not what it's supposed to look like. Either there's not enough space or certain segments are fused together or certain segments are just missing, things like that. These scientists, and excuse me with their names, but Nuslin uh, Volhard and Eric Weishaus um, did a lot of work with these fruit flies. And they did a number of experiments um, that showed certain genes connected with certain um, formations, pattern formations. And they were able to you know, take genes out and show very abnormal um, pattern formations. Um, they discovered things called homeo, or homeo, homeo, excuse me, homeotic, homeo, homeotic genes, homeotic genes, otherwise known as Hox genes, that's usually what I normally call them, but um, these homeotech genes are very important for determining, you know, the, the segments and where they go. Uh, and, and normal flies, structures like legs, wings, antenna, develop on particular segments because of the homeotic genes or the Hox genes. Um, if you mess with this, you're going to get some weird looking stuff. And we'll show you that. There's another guy named Edward Lewis who did a lot of work before um, the, the previous two scientists, and his stuff was discovered a little bit later. Um, but he discovered the homeotic genes also. Um, there's lots of information here I'm skipping over. I'm just trying to give you the main one. Scientists have discovered these Hox genes, and these Hox genes are very important. Um, typically, you that they 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 regulate gene expression through all kinds of ways, um, and we'll pick up there with the second video.